think we got the model right insofar as no hosted, no appointments, senior people, and it's small, friendly, and why change a good format, but just improve it every time. Yeah. And I think really, where, where do you really um, make a difference? And, and that's where the balls come in because you, know, you could copy the other shows and, and, and have a good show, but to make a great show, you've got to make that commitment and, and complete that commitment of you know, to protect the buyers, protect the exhibitors particularly because they, those guys are outlaying the money. And, and return on investment is paramount to have that show. And we could cave in and say, well, let's invite the thousands are in, but we don't want that. We want a show that really people come away with on Friday afternoon saying, that was worthwhile doing. And, and I think just on that point, you know, when you talk about you've got to have balls to do it, you know, Gary and I aren't part of a massive organisation. This is us backing ourselves. So it really is about talking to our industry, changing the way that we do things um, and, and having them believe in us, having them know that when they talk to us, we take their feedback on board and we bring it to the event and amp it up year on year. We at Accord decided to exhibit at Get Global. It's a slightly different trade show than some of the norm that we have here in the Pacific region. Uh, it's a different format, a bit more relaxed and free-flowing. It's a great way to connect with some of our existing clients and also continue to meet new prospective clients. Um, we see the event it really uh, helpful and we have a lot of cheer and communication with the people networking here very nice we get to know more people and promoting our destination